guys, this is DJ Henny, and uh, tonight I'm just doing a quick video on my uh, creative um, computer system. Sure, you guys, anyone out there is very familiar with these uh, style speakers. If anyone has one of these, and then there's a sub subwoofer down there. Look. Um, I got these today, uh, and I replaced these with a Logitech. Um, I think it was 1.5 surround. Uh, I had a center, two front speakers, and then I had two rear speakers over there. Um, and I replaced that because, again, it was a passive speaker. It was a passive sub, and the bass was terrible. Um, anyone out there who's got a Logitech system, computer sub, will not all of them have a passive radiators. Some of them are ported. The one I encountered it was actually a passive radiator which means the driver inside would have moved the passive grille on the front. Pointless, absolute pointless design. Um, these, oh, I mean, obviously, if you're into passive radiators, some people prefer the sound to a passive speaker. Others, like myself, don't. So, yeah, moving on. Uh, we have a set of realistics. Oh, not realistics, I beg your pardon. Um, creatives. I keep saying realistics, I have no idea why. Um... And they're absolutely amazing sounding uh, speakers, to be honest. I'm really impressed with them. And the reason I, I, I personally think, the reason they call them creatives, is because if you look at these speakers, look at the work of art that's gone into them. Like, the, the, the outside of them is absolutely just nothing but aluminium. Like, it's just amazing. The design on these is quite cool. I like them. Um, so whoever thought of these, absolute genius. I think, um, and the fact that there are three speakers in one, in uh, one tower, which I think is awesome. And again, if anyone's aware, you can actually see through the back of these, like the plastic's almost like transparent. You can almost see through them. Um, so yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, and there's a pair of them, another one, and that there is the Panasonic. Uh, is the new Panasonic SAUX100 mini hi-fi system which is 300 watts uh, anyone who anyone who follows my videos will see this in one of the videos so tonight we're not we're not talking about that we're actually uh, moving on to the uh, creatives with uh, sound system sorry I'll get sidetracked so yeah moving on the subwoofer again that comes with these speakers um, Again, great bass response. Better than my uh, Logitech subwoofer that I had back along. In fact, I got rid of that today to replace it with this. And I'm glad I did because this has incredible bass for something quite small. And it is a, and it is a ported sub. That little port, see? Ah. Um, so yeah, it's quite decent. Um, I mean, in the next video that I'll do, I'll actually show you the driver in the... Uh, in the front. In fact, actually, guys, I could do it right now. Why not? You know what? Got to get these covers off. These clips are a pain in the backside. Ooh, there we go. Can't really see it in the light, but uh, hold on. I just lift it up. It's bloody heavy. Oh god. So there it is. The uh, it's, as you can see, it's um, smaller than my hand but delivers an incredible amount of good bass response. Um, this sub is actually tw uh, 20, uh, 1200, tw uh, sorry, bloody hell, 2000 watts. No, 20 watts, sorry, that was my mistake, 20 watts. This sub is 20 watts. Um, and in terms of layout of my Logitech system, this is better build quality, more solid, unlike my other one absolute junk that's why it's out the front in the front garden in a bin because it's the amplifier was shot on it anyway um, this one I like for two reasons the sub small which I prefer if it was bigger I would have preferred it but anyway size doesn't matter it's decent sounds fantastic um, and it's the wood is solid you know my Logitech it was made of this uh, I don't know what wood it was but it was so like so like paper thin that I'm surprised it didn't rattle to bits. Um, this one is just absolutely lovely. I like it. Decent little sub. Um, 
and obviously real nice fancy grill there. There you go. So um I know obviously I some I might not have made very much sense in this video, but uh try to make as much sense as I can. Um so yeah, these are anyone who's got a pair of these, you know, don't doubt them for a second. I've had this this system for a day now and I'm impressed with the sound quality. I mean even look at this. It even lights up blue. This is the controls. You've got your bass control here and your volume control here. It would have been nice if they had a treble control as well for the uh, the highs, but uh, they don't. But oh well, can't really complain for 40 quid I pay for this. So yeah, it's not bad. Uh, let's take the covers off of these two. To make sure they don't fall off the shelf or I'll be gutted. There we go. really nice speakers and again obviously typical plastic on speakers you know be nice if they add metal grills but um oh well can't complain for 40 quid got my bang for my buck there you know so yeah um really nice setup and it does perfectly i've got two speakers on either side of my panasonic system there and if i'm sat here just wanting to either plug my headphones in or just want to listen to some music quietly, ideal. Um tend to go to bed at night and when I go to bed I normally put some chilled out music on and it's really nice to listen to this sometimes with chilled music and it also sounds fantastic when you've got heavy metal playing, things like Judas Priest, Metallica and um, all those kind of different, like, different genres of music. I mean pop, um, like the uh, house stuff and that, you know, it, it's I, brilliant. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a last quick tour of them. I mean, come on, that is a work of art right there. I mean, and the uh, subwoofer. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys, and. Um, as I said before, I tend to go out and buy new stuff for you guys just to, you know, um, I just like doing random videos of different systems. Um, so yeah, and uh, also, I will also to, uh, hopefully tomorrow, I will be doing another video on my, on the uh, sound quality of this thing and doing a sound test for you guys. So um, for now, um, that wraps it up. Have a good night.